Hey, Last Belmont. Yeah, I decided to put a donation banner down there. I haven't done that before. And mostly because... Uh, mostly because donations are more appreciated now than they have been in the past, basically. That's the reason why I did that. Yes, you should. Donations are not required, but they're definitely appreciated. Hey, the Phyrex. Thank you, sir. So I'm going to be a little bit more lenient on uh, resetting. I'm not going to be resetting for two cycle chandeliers. Uh, I'm still going to try to get full runs in as much as I can. But if I die up until like the zip, then I'm gonna restart. If I die at the zip on stage four, I will reset every other time. In other words, if I fail it twice in a row, then the second time the second time I won't reset. I'll just keep going. Just try to get some full runs in because I'm also trying to... There's going to be, be a big tournament for this game this month starting on August 3rd. So, kind of want to do some full runs to stay in shape. Good old CV4 grind. The one thing I like about doing no reset runs is the, the less resetting. Like you make a mistake and it doesn't really matter, you just keep on going. It is kind of nice, but this is more exciting though, the chance to actually PB. Damn bird. Fast Medusa. Nice and smooth. Whoa. Rex with the five dollars. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. I missed failed the one should frame jump there.
You're an inspiration to us all. Thank you, man. Thank you very much for that. That's greatly appreciated. It's not too bad of a stage. I didn't do those one frame jumps correctly. That one part, but other than that, it's pretty good. Yeah, thank, thanks again for the uh, donation. I really appreciate it. I'm actually living off my retirement fund right now. Oh, this sounds really weird. That is the majority of my money I'm spending every day is coming straight from my retirement fund. So I don't really, I don't have much of an, in, an income right now. I gotta work on that. This stage has some really heavy execution. Some really heavy execution here. Uh, you're 37. Now I turned 36 a few. I turned 36 a week ago. Retired 37 year old CV4 player. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that kind of sounds like me. Kind of. Five hearts? I can't do the Triforce. Shit, what went, went, went wrong? It's all good, just no White Force. Yeah, I'm playing this game when I'm 120 years old, man. You'll wait and see. Be trying to get that sub 31 30 at the time. <laughs> but I started speed running this game in nineteen ninety nine when I started. So I've been on this game for a while, but I, I worked on this game in 1999 through 2002, and th then it went back to casual play until 2014. That cross and whip just saved my ass. Triforce. Yeah, we try to do a Triforce with the crosses at the end of all the stages. For basically swag purposes, if that makes any sense. Have I ever had a day job? Yes, I was a landscaper for 14 years. I quit that 10 years ago this, to be an entrepreneur. An entrepreneur, 10 10 years ago. I've been living like a retired person for the last 10 years. 
pretty much. But yeah, I, I I might have to get a job next year for the first time in a, quite a while. So that's going to be a different experience for me working for a different company. This room can be so laggy if you don't know the speedrun strats. Like, extremely laggy. I think it should work. It might freeze up, but it should work. Yep, there we go. Now, the zip is a very finicky strategy. Very finicky. Well, that's a good stage four, as long as they get Coronaut in there. Good crossing whips. No early orb. Disability for the last ten years. I'm actually gonna I think I'm gonna apply for disability. Uh, I'm about to apply for disability pretty soon. My parents were telling me about that I should apply for disability, so I think I'm going to go ahead and do that and get some government money. Too bad. What is my disability? I'm gonna apply for autism. That's what I'm gonna be applying for. Apply. <laughs> applying for autism. I don't, that doesn't make any sense, does it? Well, I'm going to be getting diagnosed for it. Basically, is what I'm gonna be going after. You have autism in the United States, you can get fourteen hundred dollars a month from the government. That's crazy, man. Oh, and then jump! Well, okay. Two cycle, I guess. Rip the PB, but let's keep going. This is how it goes. If you have autism, you get 1400 a month. 
but you also have to fail getting a job. Which is basically happening to me right now. Because people with autism, they refuse to work. And they have weird things where they do their own thing. And I don't know. I don't really know too much about autism, but my parents are convinced that I have it right from birth. So I've never been diagnosed for it before, but my parents are pretty much convinced that I have it. So I'm going to go ahead and get diagnosed for it. And if that's true... I can just sit here and play this game all day and not have to work. That's some crazy shit, man. Uh, yes, stage 9 spike jump, yes, I am. For sure, yep. We'll be doing that. If I, that'd be a good place I'll die at, most likely. capable of working I don't know man I'm, I'm too addicted to this game I refuse to work because I'm too addicted to playing this game and that is a sign of autism actually that is an actual sign of autism I'm only six seconds behind. That is not too bad. Just being lazy? I don't know, maybe it is, who knows. I'm not saying that I do have it or not. I've actually always been against it. Like, my parents have always said, you have autism. I'm like, no I don't. I mean, maybe I am lazy, I don't know. Well, I'm working on a project right now called o for Overwatch. Uh, I'm making guides for it. I just started doing that this year, so... That's what I'm kind of doing for work. I don't know, plus I have like, I don't work well with others, also, like, I don't work well with others. I'm like an independent, uh, person. I can't remember if I just went on top of the crushers or below them. Shit, I cannot remember. 
I might be fucked here. No, that's good. I could take the spike jump safe, but I probably shouldn't. It's probably in my best interest to. I should. I could have done the boost off the skeleton wall guy. Damn it! I could have saved more time there if I would have boosted from the skeleton guy in the wall. How does moonwalk work? If you go in the steps and hold the the back directional key as you're going up the steps or down the steps, then you'll moonwalk. You can only do it on the steps. You can't do it on the ground. Well, I was practicing the spike jump today and I kept dying to it, but I'm going to have to give it a shot, unfortunately, because I'm very far behind. It's going to suck if I miss, but we'll see how it goes. Oh, what happened there? It's all because, uh... Hmm. Not sure about that. Holy fuck, I did it. Holy fuck. I tell you, that's like one of the biggest sighs of reliefs during the runs that I do here. Let's get in that spike jump. So I have like a 45% chance to die to it, and if I die, the run's over. Wow, we saved three seconds. Alright, so we can PB here. We can get this PB in. All we gotta do is just get a one cycle mummy and a great stage B and we're good to go, dude. If I get a PB in my first world record attempt, I'm gonna... That's gonna be fucking crazy.
That's a new strat. Oh, that's going to lose a half a second. Two boosts. Alright, so yes, this determines a lot right here. Holy fuck! No fucking way. Holy fuck. I'm in the green. Holy shit, I'm in the green. What the... What is going on here? This is the first world record attempt I've done in like 10 months. Thank you for the host. Should have did a cross and whip there. Suck it, Slargra. Suck a good one. See you, Gaibon. Well, if I don't mess up death and get a six cycle Dracula, then I'm gonna shit myself.
What the fuck? What the fuck? Thank you, Aaron Soldier, for the host. It was greatly appreciated. If I get a six cycle drag, this will be a new world record. I don't understand why this is so fast. No, rip run, ripper, ripperino, there it goes. Holy crap, it's all over. Well, I don't know, maybe not. Seven cycle drac. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. Sorry, guys. Well, maybe, I don't know. Yeah, 7 cycle drat killed it, but this is my first world record attempt in 10 months. I had one reset, no, two resets at stage 1. And then a sub 32. Holy crap. I'm still floored by this, guys. I don't want a sub 32. This is now my third sub 32. And it was very close to a 3153. If I would have got a, a six cycle direct, which is pretty close to it. Damn it. Yeah, this is the first world record attempt I've done in 10 months. I had two resets on stage one and I got this round in here. That is crazy. I did practice today for like six six or seven hours though. I did practice all day today. Yeah, all that practice paid off for sure. Like in all those places, all those weak places I had got better and I was able to get a decent run in pretty quickly it had a two cycle chandelier and a seven cycle drac yes if I would have got a one cycle chandelier and a six cycle drac that would have been 10 seconds off that would have been a 3140 3149 that would have met my my goal right there Holy shit. Man, even though this is not a PB, I'm still like... Like amazed by what I just did here. Uh, okay, so for anyone who is new here, I record all the my finished runs that I do on a spreadsheet I think today is the second Holy crap, that's a gold color. Uh, 
this is also going on to my sub 3210 playlist Eventually, my sub-32-10 playlist is going to turn into a sub-32 playlist. I'll just delete all the sub-32-10s and then turn it into sub-32s. Eventually. This is now my third sub-32. And actually, the other sub-32 I had was a 3158 also. Yeah, 3158 also. On... Uh... September 21st of 2015 which happened about two weeks after my PB and this is the first world, re world record attempt in like 10 months Cards fan with the twelve dollars, thank you very much. Congratulations on your third career sub thirty two run on CV four tonight. Thank you very much, uh, Cards fan. That is incredible. Oh my, like, I can't believe I just did that. Like, I was not expecting anything like that tonight. I thought it would take at least a few nights to get warmed up with this, but. Like, the first run I did was the run. Well, not the run, but a good run. There is still there is a few little execution errors throughout the run, too. Like, little tiny bloopers and stuff everywhere. Like, it wasn't, like, solid, solid or anything. I am utilizing a new strat on stage A that saves a half a second, and it was shown in this run. And that is courtesy of 2Cat. 